it's Mucky Moose here. I just wanted to check something then to check if it was working. Clearly it is. Anyway, we're on. Um, now, no, ugh, I can't really speak today. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing this, as it says in the title, a build tutorial sort of thing. Now, what's this? What is this going to do? You ask. This is going to the flip. Here we go. This is going to kind of. Well, it's it's definitely. It's going to give you some kind of some building ideas, some building tips. I might do this every week, and I am so sorry for not uploading for ages. I will try and upload every single day again, like I was doing, or every other day, or something like that. You understand? Anyway, let's get into this. Now, I'm just going to turn that off and do that. And what? Oh, I've got to save it. Save, save it. There we go. Okay, guys. So, I have some building tips for you guys. Now this can be live in case anybody wants me to put anything anyone in, anything in the comment section and like wants me to do anything. But for now, it can stay like this. So I was just gonna show you a normal modern table. You've got one like that, haven't you? It fits here, um your pots with your flowers in. Put them in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But if you can, if you extend that by three spaces, it also, it definitely has a middle. But apart from doing that, if you underneath, get some sea lanterns, you have to build down one more, like that, then surround it by like, you know what I mean, you have to do this in quartz blocks, but... If you do that, and then come along and put, no, where is it, Ugh. I'm getting very, there it is, there they are, iron trap doors, if you went and put iron trap doors underneath and then turned it to night, the light comes through in a really, really nice way. So imagine walking around your house at night and you see this. You could easily actually just get rid of that if you want. But it makes it a bit too bright. So I think if you put this over it, it adds that effect in a really, really nice way. You get what I mean? And it's actually, it's actually got an it's actually symmetrical sorry can't get the words out today it's symmetrical so you can add your little design sort of thing so this this video as you can kind of tell is that it's a lighting design one for in your home and for outside anyway the next one now you're sick of having to put glowstone everywhere to light up your house aren't you now discovered a new thing in fact, let me just try something. Tiny bit of light. You get a redstone torch. And you see how it just adds a little dim effect sort of thing. Instead of having to come around and put torches everywhere. Anyway, that was not what I was going to show you. Next thing is a tip that most of you will probably know. But who cares, I'm going to show you anyway. So, if you... Where are the signs? Now, there are the signs. If you go and get your dirt block, which is... Or you could get coarse dirt, but I think dirt looks better. So you get dirt, and then you get your bush. Any, any kind of leaves, just some leaves. You can put it like that. Now, this might not work for every single version. Because you see, it covers it up like that. sat in the top corner oh well so what happened was um if you put your leaves like that you still want your little holder below it don't you build it one more down 
and put a trap door there. And then get your um get a plant pot oh wait no sorry Ugh, I'm getting so confused if you just get your plant pot now oh no oh that's the next design that's that's the design as you can see you can't see the light. I'm just remembering this. I've got a piece of paper next to me as to what's going to happen. But as you can see, you've got your leaves here like that. And it covers it up. And you can still see it. As soon as you put your second leaves over it, you can't see it. And the best one for this is spruce leaves. It is the best. Now, the design I was going to show you now, it's not really a lighting design. But it is a very, very nice design. It goes something like this, I believe. Oh, it's a um, ice cream, I think. I'm pretty sure that worked. Oh, it's because I'm doing it wrong. Now, you're going to ask, how is this meant to light it up? Now, this is a really nice kind of unique style in houses. But if you wanted it in your garden to light it up, Um, that garden sort of if you make ooh, oh well if you're making it a big garden then obviously you would need to do hold on um, obviously you would need to um, if you you need to add multiple of the ones of those but this has to be my favourite design though, out of all of the other designs. Anyway, next design is, it involves end rods. Now this is nice for inside a house. If you add them like that, and like that, surround them by glass, you can build the glass upwards. But obviously, you don't want everything like too crammed, do you? So if you just do the corners like that, that is a really nice design. You can have that in or out, but I think it'd look better inside because it it just looks really really nice. You could have it in like a a bedroom sort of place. So you could get like a you you could get have a white bed. You'd be in a room and you think I need some lighting. But you could add a chandelier on like a roof, so it's just. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There you go. And then let's just get rid of the bed for now. See, if you add it like that. You're adding different stuff. And guys, let me just go get a different piece of paper. One second. And there we go guys, so sorry about that. We, we've just hit the 10 minute mark actually, and that's perfect because that's how I planned it. I had a couple on one sheet and a couple on different sheet. Now as you can see though, I'm tired because I've just ran up the stairs and ran back down then. We could change this, but that is mostly your central point. Try and make sure all of this is attached. And then you can kind of just make it look good guys so it looks good when it's on the roof or even when it's not on the roof it can look good on the floor in a garden you could surround it by say you could get yeah but 
get peony, couldn't you? And just like that, and it just looks really cool. And that's my favourite chandelier design. Next though, we do have another design, and this involves doors. Now, doors aren't people's favourites, but they can be used for lighting, and some people didn't know that. Now, if you put lanterns, see lanterns in the middle. Now, this is a tricky job because you have to get it just right. If you're in survival, this can really not work. And this is why it doesn't work, because all of the doors cl actually close. Your best actually getting right to the... That's it, like that. So you've got the technique down now. Just get right to the edge. Like that. And just do that. And that, I think, is a nice design. Now, this is a sort of modern design. Comes down like that and this is a kind of a a design that you'd use in um maybe not a, necessarily a garden you could have like a little kind of decoration decorational sort of thing now it kind of looks like I built something out of Doctor Who doesn't it but that can be really nice because you don't need to have it like that. You can use either you can use your different kind of like how we did it before, you know, how we got the glass panes. You can have it like that. You can have them coming down. Like that. Oh, breaking everything. You can have them coming down like that. And then you could get rid of this bit. These bits. And just have them get rid of those bits as well. And then you could just have it like this, couldn't you? And this kind of looks like the design that's actually coming next. because the next design involves fence posts but it does look very nice you can use don't have to use fence posts but I think fence posts look good now you can, can use iron bars for this design it does still work with iron bars but it kind of looks like the one that you get in a village but it's different in a completely different way it is now what happens is, if you put some lava like this, this is a very dangerous, so if you're doing this in survival, be careful. Now if you do get it like this, it's a kind of a, a wizardy design, so you're building like light inside a kind of medieval kind of design. Now that's like that now I, you can use iron bars but I think the fence posts look nice and you don't have to use lava you can actually um turn this design differently you can go like that or you can go like this build them out one more have them like that you get what I mean but you can also have them You'd have to obviously change it, but there is still a possible way. If you get netherrack here, put that there. Obviously, you don't want to add the horrible look to it, do you? So, you can actually change this. If you put signs around it, 
Now you can kind of see where this has come from the, the villager kind of design. Now this doesn't work the whole time, this will eventually run out. Because like say if it rains if you're outside or something like that, all the signs might burn because I've got fire spreads off. But if I put fire spreads on, if you leave it a second the signs might start to burn. If not, then I've learned something new. I'm pretty sure they do burn. Anyway, next tip on the market is it involves beacons and end crystals. Now, this uses bedrock, obviously, to put an end crystal down. You, have to, you can use bedrock. I'm pretty sure you can use obsidian, can you? Okay, it's because I've got explosions off, I can just go. But if you get... Go like that. I'm doing this nice and quick. This is kind of if you want to build a wizardy sort of thing. It also involves end rods and it does add a lot of lighting. trying to do over it oh well it also involves a lot of light light this is a massive kind of thing that you put right in the middle of the room well, it doesn't attach to the beacons which is good if you build this very high And then obviously you'd fill it in. Like that and you'd go all the way up. We'll just go four up for now. And then you get your um there they are. Quartz slabs. Go like that. Obviously the floor would be different as well. But you know what I mean, the floor would be completely different. And it'd look kind of futuristic, if you know what I mean. It's nice to put these in the corners. I wasn't actually planning to do that, but it does actually look quite nice. that see it does look very nice so you could get rid of that and you can make it look even more futuristic with if you get some quartz slabs you build up three then you break the block on any and put an item frame like that you could put something like say sacred old helmet, it could be a crown, couldn't it? Do you know what? it just kind of gives it that futuristic feeling and these don't break so that is a good design. Anyway, they're mostly modern designs but they do look very nice. Now the next one involves a lot of stuff that you get from a um, sea dungeon. Don't call that. But if you get go like that, obviously it covers up quite. It covers up a lot of light. And I put it on top, and then you see no light at all. But if you're very good with stuff, you can. There we go. Make it look really nice. So you have to do it careful. There we go. And then you still want it built up. That that's kind of now prisma bean 
is something special. We'll go on to that later. Because you could use that in a special kind of design, which I wasn't going to show in this one, but I might as well. And then it also involves end rods, which just to remind you, you get from the end. Now this is kind of a, a connection tower. And seeing as though you're coming on to, some people love to build the maps now. Loving to build these new, new maps, new exciting maps. Which obviously, it'd be awesome. But this they break obviously. Oh you can either have it like that or you can have that. Now what this does is I'm not sure whether you can add the weighted pressure plate on top, no you can't. You can't even underneath. But anyway, what this does is this also it it links with this. Now that, if you take it away from the light, looks infected almost, doesn't it? Now, if any of you were setting up your own kind of zom zombie map, and say you were just kind of building something and you wanted a communication tower, because you've got zombies chasing you, let's get a zombie horse. You'd be like, yeah, let's wait, let me get a lead on this thing to make it look realistic. Oh, can't get a lead on it. Oh well, it's chasing you. Ah, run away, run away, run away. You can either smash the glass and do stuff. Or you just do stuff. And what it does is it, it looks kind of like a communication tower. See, I love the way these, one, these ones work. You can actually kill them with healing potions. Anyway, what this does is you can like kind of communicate, and this is kind of for a kind of a wreckage sort of thing. So imagine like everything's on fire. Let's just turn fire spreads off. Everything's on fire. You've run through looking for some way to communicate with someone. You find it. This. You you type it in. Obviously, you try and put some of the fire out, wouldn't you? This is just kind of a communication device, but it also had some lighting. So if you wanted to get rid of this off the top and have it as just maybe a computer desk, like loads of computers in a work office or something like that, you can. Now, let's move on to the next one. And this one involves a nether portal. Now, many people use nether portals. Well, for lighting, they don't. For um, getting to the nether, obviously they do, but for lighting, no. So if you build your standard nether portal, I'm not sure whether I've done it right, I haven't done it in ages, but yeah, here you go. And then you get some purple glass. Now obviously you can't get in this. But it's very nice for a lighting design. Like that. Now this would be, again, futuristic. And if you like, could add some water, couldn't you? Like that, but obviously it wouldn't come out. Like you'd have it in control. Of course, it'd make lots of weird noises. Go 
could cut it off. But anyway, like you see, you could try and do it with water, but it's very complicated. I have done it once before, but it is very, very complicated. Now, that's a lot of lighting tips that I have do done, but we're not actually finished yet. We, well, I have a lot of other lighting tips. And seeing as though none of you have commented that you want me to do any others, I'll carry on doing the ones that I thought I'd do. Now this is another one of my favourites. It's a futuristic chandelier again. And as you know, I built the other one on the floor, so I'll build this one on the floor. You can use it on the floor if you want, but it looks better in the air. Let's just build up. Morning guys, set up, if you have got a YouTube channel, set it up before when you start recording because oh, you end up faffing about. Now. You see I've done it wrong. Kind of a dim that's dim lighting that for you you can get to the bottom and it can light it up more but this is where it comes in with your imagination now you could have a way that you could shut this off couldn't you yes you could have that like that that looks good or you could simply a redstone lamp there and I dropped it underneath now this is very complicated and if you're a redstone genius unlike me but I do know how to do this you can do this obviously because you know how to do it now hopefully you'd build this into your wall because you're not silly and you want to try to do it all in one. So that would be in your wall. Just check it works. Yes it does, I thought it would. Now if this doesn't work, don't blame me because it will probably need a redstone repeater. Yay! That's not going to go off, but oh well. Get. We could actually, yes, because you could be like lights out, you cl and it closes like that. But anyway, let me build it into the wall, and I'll show you kind of what it's gonna, what it'd look like. like walking and you think that th this could be a cupboard under the stairs couldn't it it literally could I could build out here you could have your doorway here Point me really building it up, but all right, I'll build it up. A 
heavy stairs like that, and then you've got your cupboard under the stairs. Oh, he's stuffing. And you think, wait, the light's on. And you think, wait, let me just do the floor to make it look more, or better. So you walk in, you think, all right, I'm done in here. Turn it off, and you're done. It's closed, it's off, lights out. You could even have, if you're very good at redstone, which is definitely not me, can give it a go. Could even have an automated door with the lever. Now this takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of redstone. Now obviously you need a wall here. You might want to only have a single door. This won't work because I haven't got repeaters. It stops there. Um, where's the repeaters? I'm gonna tell you that I'm terrible at redstone, it kinda. Kinda gives you a clue this. There we go. Be like you could go in, right? Let's just and obviously, you redstone geniuses out there be able to figure this out in five seconds. But me, I'm not a redstone genius, so I can't do that. Wait, would it work? Uh, I'm trying to add. Oh well, um, you come in, you think I've got what I need. Yep, got it all. Just check the chest. Oh, that's got to go in there. Close it and you think... Alright, lights out. It closes the door. And the light goes off. Now, redstone geniuses out there will be able to do that in five seconds. But you can see, it does take a lot, a lot of redstone. Now, there is obviously probably a better way to do this. You can probably add the redstone just above. But I've done that for you, so you open it back up again, the door opens, you go inside, the light's on, and then you think, okay, light's off, I'm going to bed, you're going to go to bed, so you actually go upstairs, and you think, oh damn, where's my light? Now, if this wasn't connected up to my door, which wasn't actually what I was thinking, I just got that random idea none of that was connected up to your door leave your light on go upstairs and you've got your light in here sorted all done you could have your bed beautiful bed across the floor like that you could have your because you don't want it like you want it quite high oh no wake up
I think I'm going to bed. Let's just change the survival and check don't suffocate in this. Nope, you're alright. So there you go. Sorted, guys. Sorted, sorted. Monomendo. So you, know, you kind of like two lights in one. Anyway, we are 36 minutes in this video. Well, we're about to be 37. But we're not finished yet. We're going to try and make this. And we'll try and fit everything in. That's like a good lighting tip. And obviously, what's a good lighting tip? without your medieval one so get your wood build up again you need to build a roof now everybody should know this two three four five find your midpoint there a build one two if you build down two and out one on each side and then put your candles there you can obviously build it lower but everybody should know this tip but this is still really nice can I get this is my favorite it does look so good you want to make a map that's kind of like snowing just a load of glass panes it looks like it's snowing anyway you can build it down one more if you feel like it. If you feel like it feel, looks like it's touching the roof. Oh, hear that. Build, build. Build. And um, build. Like that. But obviously on that one you'd be able to, your children would be able to swing unless you'd be like, Daddy, I'm flying. You can make it. like in Hogwarts where they have they have flying they have flying things don't they oh what, what do you call it flying candles oh god I, I could have just gone oh that's torches but flying candles but obviously we don't have invisible blocks so we can't put money but you could add them onto these like you could have not touching but is there another way to do them? I don't know. Can candles be placed on string? Is that possible? No, it's not. So the closest thing you're going to get to is fences. Or maybe even your iron bars. Like that. No, your fences. Maybe your glass panes. No, just your fence posts. <laughs> That's the closest you're going to get here in console edition. But we have loads more to show you. And we're just about to reach 40 seconds. 40 minutes, sorry. Are you ready? Three, two, one, 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 two. We've reached 40. Anyway, uh, we need to get straight back into this. Next one is a good, this is an outside kind of lighting design. Now for this, you'll need glowstone, or just a type of lighting, but not a torch. But the put it in the middle. Now do your normal, how you build your tree. Like, everybody, well, I don't know, but if you don't build your tree like this, it's kind of weird, because this is an oak tree, and you'd kind of want to build it like that, wouldn't you? Can maybe add one more across. There you go, there's like a tree, and inside, if you go right far away, can't really tell there's anything inside it. But obviously, you don't want when people to come up for them to see that there's something inside it. Oh. So, I had a little one of these tips. I know it looks weird, but it looks good at the same time, I think. 
You could have call it the stripy oak tree. Ah. You got it all the way around. Even, oh no, on that one, on the top one like that. It does look weird, but it looks good at the same time. If you get what I mean, you could have that for a Halloween one. And if they ever bring out white signs, you could look, it could look like someone's toilet paper de tree, yeah. <laughs> they've come along and they've gone, toilet paper time, and they've toilet paper de tree. But, Clearly, we don't have that. Anyway. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Now, this one is cool. I like, I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't need that. Now, Sea Lantern is the best for this one. Now you see, and that's not working, is it? Because it's not going to work like that. Because I actually did mess up. So, yeah, you see, that's definitely not working. You'd be best with a block in the middle, like that. Now this is better for outside. Like that. Now it looks really good, I think. And this would kind of be for outside, say you were going for a walk. You, it could be used inside, but mostly outside because you might just be going for a leisurely stroll, might you? Yeah, you've got your path and you've just got off a muddy path and you're coming onto the nice path and look you've got your little a little bit of light going on anyway next one now I am really stupid so I don't really know how to like build an end portal but it does work really well if you build an end portal in the ground, now I really don't know how to build an end portal. I really don't. So this doesn't work. I will show you guys, but I'm just warning you. If this fails, you know why. Because I can't build an end portal. I have ender lava. I think picture sure is lava. Four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. That's not right, that can't be right. Is that right? That looks about right. Put the lever in. seems to be working. They all have to be the same way I've heard. you do it you make your end portal and then you break all of these in fact this is actually the last one so, so exit and save this because it 
anyway, because uh, we'll be doing, in the next video, we'll be doing, like, different tutorials, but it will on the same world. I'm going to create more options. Super flat world. Hopefully we'll just turn those off. More options. Customize super flat. Strongholds. I think it's strongholds. Yes. Watch from it. And let's create. Okay, let's keep going. Babber babber boo. Now if we fly around we should be able to find one. Let's get my map. Keep going, keep going, keep going far. What's wrong with my thing? Wait till I stop. Keep going. Hopefully I'll find one, but keep going. Come on. What am I thinking of? They'll be in the middle of the world. And in this direction. Keep going, come on. Hopefully we'll find one. Well, it looks like a dragon. Well, the white bit's the eye, and then it's got the nose and stuff. I've just ruined my dragon now. The dragon's gone. Back to midpoint.
come on. We don't find when I'll be shot. Whoa, look at that. That's a sick animation. Look at that. <laughs> that map is bouncing. <laughs> Guessing there's none here. Oh, well. I guess that's going to be the end of the video then. I do hope you did enjoy, guys. And hopefully, like, we could do another building tutorial. Hopefully, you guys will use those tips and hopefully it'll be good. Put down in the comment section below whether you want me to carry on this. And if there's... If I get some comments saying no, then maybe instead of doing, like, tutorials, I might build a massive thing. You know what I mean? Oh, well. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!